I'm going to nerd out for a hot ass second. <laughs> I, so I'll like rewatch my videos and then go, oh man, I should have said this other thing. And you know, I'll make notes and then sometimes I'll put it in a different video or I'll like put it somewhere, whatever. It doesn't matter. So I was watching the video. I realized as I was watching it that there is two different ways that my favorite fantasy novels approach good the good bad dynamic you know duality um okay so let me back it on up l e modisett jr is a science fiction fantasy author and he has a series called the recluse series and in this series there's magic as any good fantasy novel has and he goes all in on um the construct of how magic works and the best amazing part is that as you read the different novels that come from different perspectives because the magic is filtered through the user and they have to come to an understanding of how it works in the world kind of on their own even if they get guidance um the construct of it will actually change from novel to novel it is bananas how just fantastic that is but underlying that, for the most part, most of the people in his in his recluse series, they approach good and bad magic through, through a lens of order and chaos. If you have order, things are in their place. They're done as well as they can be. Um, those things tend to endure and last um, versus chaos, which is, you know, breaks things down really quickly. Um, you know, causes disease, uh, but if you have too much order, you have stagnation, you have death. If you have too much chaos, you have too much chaos and you have death, which is direct contradict, or uh, it's in direct comparison to The Belgariad and the Malorian by David and Lee Eddings. So in their construct, there are, the universe was split. Um, and there are two prophecies and one prophecy is trying to make a certain outcome occur and the other process is trying the other prophecy is trying to make a certain outcome occur one prophecy is trying to restore how the universe was the other is trying to change it um, the interesting thing though is to restore how the universe was the uh, there has to be a choice between the light and the dark so there's a seer who ends up being at like the right place at the right time, you know, after millennia of, you know, e however eons have passed since, you know, the, the universe split into these two pieces and she has to choose. She has to choose between the two prophecies. She has to choose between the light and the dark. The interesting thing is that in this series, the dark, the bad, um, wants everything to stay the same, wants everything to be static, wants to lock people into certain roles, while the light allows for change and allows for growth and allows for, um, you know, transformation, it, knowing that things aren't static and they don't stay the same. So in the, in, in the Recluse series, Order, you know, which was, you know, the good side, uh, is is very rigid um, and structured while chaos is very fluid and the order is considered to be good and the chaos is considered to be bad and then if you look at the people who practice order and chaos the order people tend to be you know orderly and then the chaos people tend to just do whatever the fuck they want <laughs> and take advantage of others so when you're reading the books you're like well yeah chaos seems bad but there are certain you know gray wizards and wizardesses who understand you know like there are druids in, in that particular series that understand that you know one isn't good or one isn't bad that life needs both and so there's a particular magic user who uses order to frame chaos and uh support it in a sense so that that this user can have specific outcomes that he wants while the other book is thinking that the static is the dark, is the bad, while the change is the light and the good. 
And in that book also, the seeress basically says, you know, the seers, we know these are two different sides of the same coin. We know we're not choosing between um, good and bad. This is, this is deeper than that. What we're really choosing between is um, change or being static and stagnant. The reason I love these perspectives also is that one of the things that occurs in a dysfunctional dynamic or non-optimal dynamic or an abuse dynamic is a very static way of thinking about people. And I've definitely done this too. Like this is, you know, uh, we get we get set in our minds like who a person is. Um, and then we'll often reflect that back to them. Like you are this. Instead of going, you know, instead of having the desire to keep people in a certain um, way, in a certain role. So in the Belgariad and the Melorian, the dark side kept trying to get one of the characters, Polgara, to, um, you know, be the god's wife or trying to get Garion, who's the protagonist, to be the god's son. And Garion finally goes, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me locked into this dynamic. You're trying to get me locked into a relationship because you don't want things to change. They're going to change. And of course, the dark prophecy is like, oh, dying on the inside. Anyway, this video is not going to make real any sense to anybody other than uh, fantasy nerds. But I just couldn't help myself. So if you happen to be a fantasy nerd <laughs> um, and you're interested in these topics, um, there's got to be like three of us and it's all good. And you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, hope you all have a great night. This is like a little nerd addendum to the video I just did. Uh, and it's all good. And I'll see you next time.